What's up everyone? Today is another cool review, man. I've been waiting for this and uh I was at Myers this weekend and uh looking at some collection and uh, I found something really cool. Kind of a little expensive because I did not know the price of it because it, it wasn't showing the price, then it had no price tag and but I was trying to find one and did it so I bought it in sixty dollars and this is like a very detailed uh collection that I have that I bought as well and you guys know what to do subscribe hit that thumbs up share comment below and let's get to it man I'm excited about this one like I said this is from a movie um I'm not really a like big on the movie but I prefer the other one over this one this is a older movie and it's a house of 1,000 corpses um, hopefully um, they will make more movies I, I don't know if they re uh, like re make the movie you do a reboot but here you guys go. Look at this. This is freaking sweet. Yes. And, uh, I do like this box. So it's got some nice, uh, details in it. And these, I don't know if these are like, they're almost <coughs> kind of like bobbleheads slash Funko Pops, but they're not, but they're action figures. Like, and you got, the uh, Captain Clown guy, and then you got like his brother, uh, Driftwood, and uh, then you got the hot blonde chick, I mean, um, baby, and uh, I had to buy this man, and they had one more left, they only had two, so I bought this one, and there's only one more left, but the details on the box is so sweet, and I would say 60 bucks, I mean, that is kind of not cheap for this but if you buy them like one by one at a time maybe it might be a lot cheaper but uh, there's all three of them like you know this goes out goes out all to the fans that really likes this movie I have seen it I don't know how many times but um I'll probably rewatch it again to see if I like and liked it um but the devil's rejects I like that movie a little more than that this movie um i swear they had a fourth guy with them i i don't know maybe it's just those three itself but like i said we're gonna actually open this box um and see this box is actually kind of um heavy but i do enjoy this kind of stuff from NECA and NECA does an amazing job with this uh, with, uh, collectibles and all that. We got my handy dandy knife and I'm going to open this bad boy up and uh, yes and as you guys see I don't have my background it's just too complicated moving all my stuff but the background I'm um, have right now is house flipper 2 I've been designing my house the house I'm in right now and yes so I'm actually opening the box damn fan blowing in my eye um but I'm I'm very excited. Um, maybe we might do a close-up review. I, I, I'm not sure. But the background, wow! Like in the box itself, looks like a freaking demon. The uh, the workshop is actually it's very detailed, and you can't take it out. Kind of, I mean. Yeah, I mean I don't know if this will be the thumbnail or maybe the actual front like that um I'll, I'll think of something um but i don't know but this is actually a cool box but yeah you can see like 
the shop. I know it's a little glary and all that, but the shop itself. And plus, man, it's been so freaking hot today. It's it's very nice. Is this the okay? One of them. Okay, baby has a stand. She has her own stand. Look at these guys, man. These guys are so damn sweet. I mean, yes. Very detailed and all that, man. And they're kind of heavy, um, to be honest with you. Let's start out with this dude. Uh, Driftwood guy. Um, he's probably not the main dude. I don't know if I want to take these out, out like this or not, but I kind of do. But I don't know if this knife will actually cut this like, little rubber band thing. Or not, but damn man, I mean, I don't want to put dents in them either. I don't, you know, they cut people up and stuff. I'm cutting them up basically. Um, this thing's a pain in the ass, man. I, I don't know. Like, I really want to take these guys out, and and it looks like in the back of the head, it looks like a freaking bobblehead. Not, wow, I think it's my like it's <coughs> they're not freaking plastic, that's for sure. Almost like glass. Like hard glass or some of this is plastic I'm I'm consuming, but the middle one feels like a freaking bobblehead and the rest of them um are like hard good plastic or something like that but um opening these out man I don't know these things are pain in the book I don't know if this uh if I should take them out guys um the way it is yes the way they are they just don't like they don't want to come out like so baby she might be easy to get cut out i don't want to cut her stomach and it's very i don't want to scratch it up yeah she's like they're both like hard like action oh almost sliced her face off okay sorry baby um, I'm taking baby out, I, I'm guessing, um, dude, we should have got like a replay on that before I uh, see my face, face expressions of me trying to open this damn thing two hours later, no, <laughs> but this, uh, oh, damn. Wow, this is very detailed, guys. Um, it's, it shows her ass cheeks on her, and yeah, she's she's got a big head. Like, this is probably the close-up review I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, but yeah, look at the freaking details in the face, and the boobs, pretty nice. Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> uh. I don't know what the hell she got right by her mouth, but her body is looking fine as fuck. Her hair is pretty nice. It actually got details in on it. Her hair, there's her butt cheeks. Um, guys, but we're gonna turn back around. Hopefully, I won't get in trouble with, with this on YouTube. Um, but uh, but yeah, she looking fine. Yeah, baby. But, but the details in it, man, is so amazing. Uh, actually, this is actually worth sixty fucking dollars, man. Like her hair moves a little bit too, like her hair and all that. That's kind of cool. But yeah, man, her nose reminds me of Beavis from Beavis and Butthead. Her nose reminds me of him and the blonde hair. Um, she actually does move her head a little bit. She shakes her booty a little bit, you know. Um, but 
She does come with the stand. She's the only one that comes with the stand. And the stand is this like a plastic. And you put her by her foot. Put her in the, her boot. Her boot, not the other word. Um, and put that bad boy on there. I don't know why. Dude, okay. This one looks like it's like she's on a hoverboard. You know, like from Back to the Future, but this is very detailed, man. I, I really like it. It's got like stars on their pants. Stars, and I just can't believe her ass cheeks actually shows. I mean, yeah. I definitely would uh, spank her in real life. Um, yeah. But she stands actually pretty damn good. She does. I mean, I don't know if she would stand on my hand, but. And by the way, guys, I ordered some things from uh, uh, Team U. And um, so there will be more reviews um, of that. So I got some special things for you guys. Uh, the rest of these dudes, man, like I said, I don't know if I can open these guys, because this dude's hair, I have to open, like, from the front. <coughs> so, Baby might be the only one. Uh, it's getting open, so I, I don't know. I don't want to scratch these guys up because they're very nice. Oh, I almost got it. The guy that I wish you gonna like untie him faster, but it seems like you can't. The way it is is just. Kind of weird. Kind of weird how this is. Maybe I should get a head start and uh, open them, then put them back in the box. But I don't like to do that because I've already seen. Usually when I buy something like collectible and a nice collection, and I don't like to like look at it. Look at it. Because I want to show everyone on here and yeah. These things are very fucking stretchy, man. The faces I'm making right now, I mean, yeah. Okay, I got some of the things. They make sure people don't steal this shit, that's for sure. Okay, yeah, we're gonna cut more into this uh, dude right here and just pop him out, man. I mean, this dude, uh, Driftwood right here, he just don't want to come out. And I'm afraid to break the middle one because he's like a freaking glass bobblehead. This dude's head moves. He's like a freaking, like one of those rockers or something, man. Look at this, guys. Look at this. Very detailed and all that. I'm actually, I, I'm glad I bought these. Um, he does have a stand as well. I mean, what? He stands just fine, so why he need to stand when he's sort of a little heavy? I mean, it didn't all come with stands, but... Oh yes, yeah, so this is the guy's Driftwood. This is the close-up review we're gonna do of uh, Driftwood. Like you know, you, you can move his book and all that, and uh, his head, like like heavy metal rocker. <laughs> yeah, like or something like that, you know. But the back of the head, you can see inside. I mean kind of cool. I mean, the paint job on these are very fucking amazing. 
and uh, I really like this a lot. It's actually pretty cool, and he actually stands pretty good. The back, not much. I mean, not. I mean, here's a sort of heavy, but now the last guy, the clown guy. I know, guys. Uh, he's gonna be more pain in the butt. I'm gonna try to, dude. Like, yeah. Oh. He's the one I thought. I don't want to break him because he's the main character, the main man, the main killer. Um, he's the boss. And I think his mouth moves. That'd be whoa, that'd be so damn sweet. And these are very nice. 60 bucks. I mean you probably can find them cheaper. I, I don't know. But These things are pain in the ass, especially opening these. And I will put them back in the box and, you know. Um, but yeah, like I said, I like the uh, Devil's Rejects a lot better than the House of uh, 1000 Corpses. And, uh, oh, damn. So he's not made of glass. He kind of felt like it at first. Um,. But if they were made of glass, I mean, that'd be cool, too. But this guy has some freaking details. He's a little heavier than the other two peeps. Yeah, two peeps. This guy is freaking sweet. Look at this. Very detailed and stuff like that on the teeth. Yes, they did an amazing job on the face. And he's pretty cool. Um... I mean, he's not my favorite, but um, I do like uh, the movies that they do. But his hat, you gotta have a hat. And will he come back and do more movies? I don't know, because I think on the Devil's Rejects, I might have to watch that again. Something or something? I don't know. But anyways, um, I think the Devil's Rejects, I think at the ending where the cops stop them and they get shot at, all three of them get shot. Check out this freaking skull. Pretty sweet. Yeah, his suit looks nice. And got the sh uh, clown shoes. Got the stick in the back. Whatever that thing is called. Um, but yes, got that. But, but this is another cool review video, guys. Hopefully you guys really enjoy this um here's the back of his head as you guys can see looks like a play-doh almost the way his head is but the fucking details in his face man all of them basically oops he smashed his face on the but yeah all these dudes well not dudes but two dudes and a woman baby uh but yeah there's all three of them guys so if you guys really enjoyed this video please comment below subscribe and like this video and share please I appreciate it guys and uh, yes and more videos will be coming soon and I will do more in my collections as I go to stores and find some more cool collectibles even more horror stuff okay i have yeah we'll show some more horror stuff everybody likes that and more ninja turtles and power rangers and basically um since it's getting warmer i don't know when i will go back in my uh up in the garage on the second floor and find some of my toys that i used to have back in the day as a kid that um i will show a review on but these are pretty damn neat so peace out everyone and hopefully you enjoy this video